Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to measure competitive imbalance in sports, particularly for the NFL, by using the null scully measure. The null scully measure of competitive balance is a ratio of the actual standard deviation of the winning percent to the ideal standard deviation of the winning percent in a league. The ideal standard deviation of the winning percent is a standard deviation if each team has a 50% probability of winning each game. No one is suggesting that this is necessarily ideal, it just provides a benchmark to compare the actual standard deviation of the winning percent. So let's look at the formula for the ideal standard deviation against base, based on the notion that each team has a 50% probability of winning each game. It's going to be 0.5 divided by games played to the one-half power, or the square root of games played. So in the NFL, in 2019, each team played 16 games. The null scully measure here, then, to calculate the ideal standard deviation, you're going to do 0 0.5 divided by the square root of 16, or 0 0.125. In other words, if each team had a 50% chance of winning each game, we'd find the standard deviation of the winning percent to equal 0 0.125. For Major League Baseball, if we were to try to calculate the ideal standard deviation, the numerator is exactly the same, 0 0.5. The denominator now is the square root of 162 games. Each team plays 162 games. All right, going back to the NFL, the actual standard deviation of the winning percent, we're going to calculate it based on the population standard deviation and not the sample standard deviation, is given by the following formula. W subscript I is team I's winning percent. The 0 0.5 represents the mean winning percent in a league. And note, when calculating a team's winning percent, a tie game counts as a half a win and a half a loss. So the actual standard deviation of the winning percent in the NFL in 2019 was almost 0 0.2. As we saw, the ideal standard deviation is 0 0.125. So calculating the null scully measure, we get a measure of 1.56. So in 2019, the standard deviation of the winning percent in the NFL is almost 1.6 times larger than the ideal standard deviation, a measure of competitive imbalance. We can compare the null scully measure across seasons in the NFL. We can also compare the null scully across different leagues, comparing this 1.56 to that in Major League Baseball, the NBA, NHL, for example. The NBA's null scully measure is around 2.5, more competitively imbalanced than the NFL and other sports leagues. All right, let's look at the actual, more the details of this calculation, if you want to do this in Excel, for example. So here is the team data for the NFL in 2019, wins, losses, and ties. We had a couple ties that year. Detroit Lions and the Arizona Cardinals. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate the winning percent, and the winning percent is just a number of wins, so for the New England Patriots, 12 divided by the number of games, or 16. So 12 divided by 16 gives us 0 0.75, so you do that for all the teams. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this winning percent column and we're going to subtract out 0 0.5. That is the mean of the winning percent in this league. So 0 0.75 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. 0 0.63 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.13, etc. So you do that for all the teams. And then the next step here is we're going to square this column. So we're going to square 0 0.25 to get 0 0.625. We're going to square 0 0.13 to get the following. So after you made all of those calculations, we're now going to sum up this last column. So that was what the, the summation operator was representing in the formula, so summing up this last column. And then the next step here, 
we're going to take that sum and divide it by the number of teams in the NFL. And in 2019, there were 32 teams. So 1.21 divided by 32 gives us this answer. And then finally, we're going to take the square root of 0 0.038 to get our actual standard deviation of the winning percent in the NFL. So the actual standard deviation of the winning percent is just that number right there. So I'm just going to label it now. We saw the ideal standard deviation. And so just taking one and dividing by the other, we have our null scully measure. Okay, I will stop here.